Kelsey. It is well, and it's have, the you same. have to it's love Kelly Dodd. It's so good. Yeah, Kelly Dodd said it. Yeah, that producers used to tell her, "Oh, Rena is the bitch, and we don't want to go in her house. It's disgusting, and whatever else." Well, you know what's really funny? I mean, and I go back to just I'm only speaking from my experience. When they would go to houses, they would say like, "Whose house?" Because they came into my house here in San Diego, and they're like, "Oh, we love your house." And I was like, "Huh?" I was like, that's so weird. Like, I mean, nice. Thank you. But you know that they do talk about those things. Have you ever been in Rena's house though? Once. I mean, it looks, it's not my style. The view is nice. It looks nice from, it looks nice enough. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's still, I think, you know, it's like the old Christ furniture and shabby chic and it, whatever. I mean, do you remember, do you remember way back when, when um, she was getting a wax and she had that woman waxing her and she was laying on the carpeting in her bedroom and, and LVP like made the comment, like, you know, I'm not listening to anything you say when you're laying on that dirty carpet. Oh God, I was so embarrassed. I, was I like, think so. Oh. Yeah. Oh. No, her house is not my style, but the way Kelly Dodd describes it, it was like, they were like, oh, like it was like a hoarder's house or something. That's how Kelly was saying it. And, and, and honestly, I mean, like, that's not something that you just like, I'm sure someone probably said something to her at one point, but those are the things that like, do you really need to repeat that? That's not nice. Well, it's Kelly, even though I love Kelly and I, I like Villa Rosa. I, I like Lisa's house. Now there's things in it that are not my style. The whole, like her closet's nice. The view's nice. And I like the moat with the swan that I love. And I like glass. I mean, all the-, the, the house, her, her house is like a storybook. I mean, it is really cool. Yeah. That one I like. I honestly yeah. like it. And Andy always said he used to love Mellencamp's old house in Malibu with that view. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that was really my style. Kyle's house has grown on me. It's cute. Yeah. But like Dorit's and that, I don't like this Encino house. I like the other house that they rent. This one is so fake cookie cutter to me. I don't know. I don't like it. I just, I don't like that, you know, there's like a fence and the, and the street is literally five feet away. That That's what I don't like. I mean, when they did all of it, when she was broken into and robbed and they did all of the aerial shots, I was shocked to see how close to the street they were. That I didn't like. And the other house, there's no real house. Like Garcelle's is fine enough. I don't love it. Sutton's, it's it's also too like I could see her in it. It's like a Southern Bell house in Hollywood, not my style. There's no real, there's no houses at the moment on this show that I'm loving. I can't remember. Right. What about uh Heather DeBros, the one that they just sold? Love. You know all that. I mean, she now, of course, like she they bought they bought in the century, which is the same place like Candy Spelling owns the penthouse there. That's the building in that they're moving to in L.A. for 14 something million dollars. I know you, other people there. you do. I know like yeah. Dorothy Wang from Rich. There's people that's where Candy Spelling lives. Do you think like all these rumors that have like, I think Heather should be on Beverly Hills Housewives. He would be great on that one. You talk Maybe. about, I mean, that's I the, oh no, they did that with Taylor. That's evolution. They put Taylor down in Orange County, right? Yep. And, you know, evolution is botched. So like that's right. Like, Heather's returning to Orange County. It was, you know, it wasn't like a, a free for all, but. Is she botched. off that? Is she now, off of it she's, now? She's, uh, well, they, or they're filming, they're at the end of filming the next season. So she's filmed it, but. I don't know. Listen, after Taylor returned, did Heather say, wait a second? But look, two, two of her kids just went to school. So, I mean, that's a huge house. Maybe that's all their plans. Maybe that's who the next person is. Is Heather 55? Look, I have had, I told you because Ooh. of what I do, I don't judge anything by the TV. I judge you based on this. When you're, I have had Heather on this show twice, I've had Terry on. To me, and we have a mutual friend in common to me and Heather. She, to me, is, I don't care what people say about her. She is wonderful. She's been nothing but wonderful to me. Do you think she'd do Beverly Hills? I think so. I think Heather she, is like, 
I think she feels, and I'm not criticizing her. I think she feels that she's over the OC. I mean, granted, $55 million, I guess you sell your house too, if the whole thing is was 35 or whatever it is. She doesn't need the space. I bet you, I think that Heather feels, look, she's out of place on that show. She has, talk about people that don't have real money. She has real money. Like she has a lot of fucking money. I could see, I could see her and Sutton and Garcelle against Rena and Erica. She knows she, she's not she gonna roll. Garcelle. She's not gonna roll with like the trash of Rena and Erica. I don't think so. No, Erica's the language, gonna the language, the I mean, all of it. She's not. She knows them. I think, I just think like, you know, I mean, th- that's, someone asked her when, after the sale, like, is this your game plan? And she jokes, she's like, well, I know Lisa Rinna and I know Garcelle. Cause you know, she's kind of like- You're already actress. talking to her. Could you imagine? That would be, that would be smart. People would tune into that. I mean, I love, I think once you do it once with Taylor, I think the, the gloves are off. You could do it with anyone. Sure, why not? It's a perfect swap. I would, I mean, I, I would look to me, she lives the lifestyle of Beverly Hills. Heather has real money and she spends, she spends like it's, and that penthouse, I mean, that's my style that I like. Totally. That I like. Oh, I think you, I think we may have just kind of figured something out here. You think so? It's possible. Now I would say, I would say that that's a real possibility. If someone said to me, what are the chances of that? If they offered it to her. And I could see them offering it to her because they know she's going to throw the parties. Like you said, she's going to spend the money. She's she's definitely not going to come in like afraid of anybody. We already have, I mean, Terry, we already have a husband on the show that we know. Look, I think Heather is, like you have to admit, Beverly Hills is just, it has more cachet in the yeah. housewives world than the OC. I think that she would be rejuvenated and thrilled to like, I think, I think it's a great, but I still think Denise coming back could be a real thing because Denise left over money. She didn't get fired. They were in negotiations and rumors. She wanted like $4 million or something, but I think You're Denise- not give her that. They're no. not going to give her $4 million. And now she's making money on OnlyFans. Like what, I mean, I think she doesn't need the money. What? I think, I think Heather, Heather would give them more bang for the buck. You do. And they probably don't have to pay her as much as they would have to pay Denise. I don't know. I think Heather got a lot to go back to the, to the OC. Well, they needed her there though. They had to bring someone back because that show was tanking, right? Yeah. And it, it's still, I'm not sure about the life support. I think it's on life support. I think if it comes back and it's not phenomenal, I say it's just, it's time to call it like time of death. I'm not so sure it's going to be a hit when it comes back. If you want my opinion. I have, I mean, I mean, it sounds bad to say I have zero desire to watch that one. A lot of people do. I mean, Tamara's coming back. Okay. Like that could be wrapped up in two, two episodes. You have problems with Shannon makeup. Here's 